A customer just brought in this gaming PC saying that the system all of a sudden started smoking and shut off the other day so let's get a fix for them. After doing a quick inspection of the system I noticed two big issues right off the bat. At first I noticed that there was a capacitor missing from the top right of the motherboard and when you know it after looking through the PC case I actually found it sitting in the rubber grommet and it was clearly damaged. On top of this issue I noticed that the GPU had a broken SMD which isn't safe to continue using. So we're going to need to get both of these components swapped out. Which for the motherboard we were very fortunate as we had an old H61 one board lying around which was compatible so I took all the components from the old motherboard and moved them over directly. From there I got the new motherboard installed and plugged in all the required cables. To fix the GPU issue we talked to the customer and because the system was running a really basic games so and they didn't want to spend all that much money on the system we decided to replace the GTX 650 with the RX 550 that was used but would be perfect for what the customer needs. Once that was all plugged in I went to actually power up the system and after firing it up we ended up getting no display. I assumed it was possibly related to memory so I went ahead and swapped out the original kit of memory to the 16 gigabyte kit that I had on hand and after doing so the system fired up in the windows without an issue. I went ahead and put in each stick individually back into the system and we still got the exact same issue so it looks like whatever happened to the system also took down the memory when the old motherboard went out. And with this system back up and running all we have to do now is update some drivers and we can get this system back to the customer.